Diego Luis de San Vatoris, a prideful Catholic spreading religion all over the Pacific. One of the notable islands to receive this treatment is the small but beautiful island of Guam. During his time on Guam, he has gone through numerous conflicts. One example is the ambush on Louis D. Morales and his companions on Tinian as the priest was on his way to baptize a dying man. Another example is being taken prisoner on a neighboring island of Guam. Though San Vatoris escaped, the preacher he left behind was not as fortunate. The preacher was attacked by angry Chamorros and stabbed to death after a child he had baptized a few days earlier. San Vatoris visited the island to try to make peace between the rivals, but was unsuccessful and returned to the island of Guam. San Vatoris was very disturbed about the recent terminal events in the Northern Islands. Although he remained convinced that Chamorro people should not be brought to Christianity by threat of musket or sword. He never gave up and continued his work. Soon, San Vatoris was back doing the work he so much loved, preaching Christ to the children and adults of the villages. Never one to remain in more settled confines of his Christian community, San Vatoris pushed on to the rugged interior of the island in search of souls. San Vatoris went about his journeys with his faithful catechist, Pedro Calangsor. Along their journey, they met a Chamorro noble by the name of Matapan, an old friend of San Vatoris whose life he had once saved. San Vatoris greeted his friend and noticed his newborn baby. He politely offered to baptize his daughter. Chief, may I please baptize your daughter? Matapan then replied, Better off baptizing the skull in this house. Get out. San Vatoris quickly replied, I chill, I'll go. Matapang grew some trust issues on San Vatoris and called up his friend Hurao and plotted a hunt on the priest and his helper. Hey, Par, I need a solid. What's up, Par? Priest has no shame. Oh. I must kill him. Oh. Let's go after him. Matapang and Hurao then went to gather some weapons and companions to help him put an end to the priest. While Matapang was gone, San Vatoris entered the house and baptized the sick child. He knew that his former friend would be furious at him for this, but he felt that the salvation of the child outweighed the threat upon his life. Matapang was waiting for San Vatoris to appear to plot his execution. When they collided, they went after Pedro first, who refused to abandon the priest, but
Within a few moments, he fell dead with a spear in his chest. Then they got San Vatoris. You shouldn't have poisoned my child. Oh, yeah. Thou died priest. San Vatoris fell to his knees and uttered a prayer of forgiveness for his assailants. He had barely enough time to kiss his crucifix before the two men were on him. One of them split the priest's skull with a stroke of the cutlass, while the other buried a spear in his heart. After he was dead, Matapeng and his helper tied stones on the two bodies, took them out to the sea, and threw them overboard. San Vitoris's body came up three times. Twice his hands seized the outrigger of the canoe. This terrified Matapeng and Hirao. Then he came up a third time and took hold of the stern of the canoe. They pushed him off and paddled swiftly back to the shore. San Vitoris was killed on April 2, 1672. A legend says that the reef water here turns red every April on the anniversary of his death. <laughs>